हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन चैनल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस एट होम वंस अगेन आई एम बैक विद पाइथन इन दिस सेशन ऑफ पाइथन वी विल टॉक अबाउट ऑपरेटर्स ऑपरेटर्स मींस व्हेन वी नीड टू परफॉर्म सम काइंड ऑफ अर्थमैटिक ऑपरेशंस और डिफरेंट ऑपरेशंस आल्सो वी यूज ऑपरेटर्स इफ यू हैव टू फाइंड द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर्स से 20 एंड 30 व्हाट विल यू डू you will multiply these numbers that is 20 multiply 30 and you will get the result 600 so if a is 20 and b is 30 then the product will be calculated as follows c is equal a multiply b is equal 20 multiply 30 is equal 600 so simply for performing calculations we use some kind of symbols in the above expression star is a symbol which is used to multiply these two numbers Similarly in place of it if you use plus you will get the sum of these numbers that is 20 plus 30 is equal to 50 right so operators are used to perform different operations on operands and give a meaningful result and these operators are as follows you can see the names arithmetic string assignment relational and logical and in the above expressions we use the symbols like plus multiply and divide and equal all these are called operators and variables like a b and c they are called as operands right so python provide different type of operators to work with and these are arithmetic operators which means they are used to perform arithmetic operations on the data string operators they are used to work on string values or the text values assignment operators they are used to assign value to a variable relational operators they are used to show the relationship between two operands and the logical operators are used to combine two or more conditional statements further if we talk about arithmetic operators they are of two types two categories are there the first one is unary operators and the second one is binary operators unary operators have a single operand or a single variable for example plus a or minus a or it can be any other variable also along with only one operator plus or minus and binary operator they work on two operands means two variables are required to perform the operation for example a minus b there are many binary operators which we use in calculations such as addition subtraction multiplication division integer division modulus division and exponential addition for example 30 plus 20 is 50 subtraction say 30 minus 20 is 10 and in the same manner multiplication 30 multiplied 20 will be 600 and in the division there are three categories the first category of division give the result in decimal form that is 30 divided by 20 is 1.5 the second category of integer division gives only the integer value that is 30 divided by 20 is 1 and the third category of division of modulus it gives us the remainder that is 30 divided by 20 is 10 and the last binary operator is exponentiation or we can say exponential operator which gives us the power of a number that is 3 power 2 is 9 like 3 multiply 3 is 9 after arithmetic operators we have string operators string operators work on string values these operators are also of two categories two types the first one is concatenation which means addition or joining for example python plus programming would give us python programming and the second category is replication means to repeat something to repeat a string a number of times so python power 3 or we can say python exponentiation 3 means python 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 three time the same word would be written this is replication category of string next we have assignment operator which is is equal sign this operator is used to assign a value to a variable like a is equal to 20 in the next category we talk about the relational operators as the name indicates they establish the relationship between two operands and they combine the value assigned to the operands and give the output in a boolean expression means true or false and these operators are less than greater than less than and equal to greater than and equal to 
not equal to and equal to you can see the symbols also and the example is if a is 20 and b is 30 so b greater than a this statement is true why because 30 is greater than 20 and if we say a is equal to b is equal here means double equal means we are checking whether they are equal or not so if they both are equal only then the statement will be true otherwise it will be false why because 30 and 20 are not equal after relational operators we talk about logical operators definitely logical operators are used to check the logic in a program on the basis of combining two or more conditions and they result in the form of true or false and they are also of three types and or not three operators and means they are used to combine the statement using and clause give the result true if all the specified conditions are true or means it gives result true if any of the specified condition is true and others can be false as well and third one is not it reverses or negates the given condition if the condition is true it evaluates to false and if the condition is false it evaluates to true for example for a is 20 and b is 30 following conditions are true what are these a less than b and a greater than 10 so we can see that a is less than b that is 20 is less than 30 and a greater than 10 and 20 is greater than 10 also so this is true b greater than a so we can see that 30 is greater than 20 and b less than 20 but this statement is false but one of them is true so this statement is also true and the last one is not a greater than 100 is true a greater than 100 is a false statement but before that not is written so definitely this statement would be considered as true so after all these operators we need to understand the precedence of operators. Precedence, what does it mean? The precedence of an operator refers to the order of priority in which the operators are evaluated in an expression. Means, if we have an expression, what should be calculated first? Addition, subtraction or something else. In case two operators with the same precedence are the part of an expression, then associativity is taken into consideration. To avoid the confusion, we need to understand the associativity which will be helpful to understand what exactly has to be done when the operators have the same precedence. So what is associativity? The associativity of an operator determines the direction of operators from which side, either left to right or vice versa. Means while calculating, we have to go from left to right calculation or right to left calculation. And this way the expression should be resolved. Further in precedence, we will talk about the operators and their description and we will also see where it stands the first one is bracket we call them parenthesis the second one is exponentiation that is the power next one is unary operations and the fourth category we have multiplication division integer division and modulus division in the next category we have addition and subtraction next we have relational operators all the relational operators are there and last we have the logical operators that is not and and or so this is the way to decide which operations have to be performed prior right so further precedence of operators if we talk we need to follow the rule pod mass that is brackets firstly brackets will be calculated afterwards off that is we can say order also or power also and then we have division then we have multiplication afterwards addition and then finally subtraction this we have learned in mathematics also and the same rule we follow in computers as well especially here we are talking about the python programming so we will be following the board mass while performing the calculation of different expressions which are supposed to be used at the time of calculations so now we are going to discuss some programs of python in which we will see the use of operators so i'm going to start with the python platform and here it opens yeah so you can see that we have the python shell and i would go to file and i would choose new file because i want to start a new program and the program which I am going to make today is about the arithmetic operations. So firstly, I will write print arithmetic operations a is equal to input enter a number. And before that, we need to specify 
int also because we will be dealing with the numbers so we need to specify int in the same manner I will take the second statement so what I am going to do is I will be doing the copy paste and instead of a I'll write b and here I will write another enter a number in a for first number enter another number in b that is for second number and then I am taking a variable c to determine the addition that is a plus b then another variable d to determine the subtraction then another variable e to determine the multiplication and then one more variable f to determine the division right so these four operations I have written and afterwards I will write the statement print result fine and in the result we will write the result for all this operations separately say addition and then we will write a in the same manner I will copy the statement for subtraction multiplication and division so what I need to do I need to make some changes subtraction multiplication division and same way we need to change the variable also C for addition D for subtraction E for multiplication F for division and then file and we need to go to run then run module it is asking for saving definitely we need to save the file so I would give the name say ARTH that is for arithmetic I have saved and here the execution starts it is asking for number so I am giving a number 8 it is asking for another number I am giving 2 so you can see the result addition is 10 that is 8 plus 2 is 10 let's uh, compare with the program which we have done so first is print statement arithmetic operations appearing here arithmetic operations enter a number with integer so enter a number I have given 8 enter another number again input to a variable b with integer value so I have given 2 then print statement result it is written here these are processing statements so during this time compiler would have calculated the values and then here it is the time to display them so first statement is addition with variable c which is 8 plus 2 10 next is subtraction which is showing 8 minus 2 which is 6 then multiplication that is 8 multiplied 2 is 16 so it is showing the value 16 and the fourth one is division 8 divided by 2 is 4 so we can see that all the operations have been performed successfully now I am going to make a change in this program and I will find out the area and parameter of square area and parameter of square so I need to enter site enter site of square so we don't require any other variable B so I'll delete the statement and for area I'm taking variable AR and we need to do a multiply a and for parameter I'll do PR and the formula we know very well 4 multiply a and then these statements are not required and then this result can be written as it is and now I will write here area of square AR and then parameter of square that is PR and these statements are also not required so now again I'll go to run and I will do run module that is F5 or simply we can press F5 also and as I do OK so I can see the execution here area and parameter of square is written which is the result of this print statement or print function now I need to enter the side of square so I do enter 5 so we can see the result area of square is 25 and parameter of square is 20 that is 5 into 4 is 20 so this way we have understood about the Python programming and particularly we talked about the of Python and we have discussed till now about the arithmetic operations that is addition subtraction multiplication and division plus we have also discussed about the area and parameter which is again the arithmetic operation and further if we need to talk about the string operators and assignment and relational so we can take the example of that also simply what we need to do this int has to be removed and then this bracket as well and here instead of enter side of square we can simply write enter name fine and then 
another variable we can take say p is equal input enter class basically we just want to join the name and class so i have written here enter class and close the bracket now ar let it be ar itself and then a plus b this is not required result can be written as it is and here i would write joining name and class joining name and class and then here i can write ar and then again let's execute this time i have executed with the function key f5 and let's see the result okay area and parameter of square the statement i haven't changed it can be changed definitely so enter name i am writing op and enter class suppose i have enter 5 so it will be giving the result op5 so this way you can see that we have joined two values using the plus operator which is the operator to join string values so this way we can join two text values and if one of them is number also it will be considered as text itself and the next example we are going to discuss about the boolean result which will have the logical statements or relational statements so suppose if i have to talk about the class and the statement also i am removing and here because we need to deal with numbers so i will write again int enter number one enter number two afterwards we will use suppose result one i write here say result one and here i write a greater b and then the same statement i copy and i do paste again and this time i write result two and here i write a less than b now in this example output we will see after giving the values what happens so if i give the value 8 and the second value i give 9 so result 1 is false result 1 is false because result 1 is saying a greater than b but we know that 8 is not greater than 9 so definitely it is false and a less than b so yes it is false a less than b yes it is less than the first value is less than second so it is true we can take one more example print result 3 comma a greater than b and that is the logical operator and and then a less than b this is for the logical and means both the conditions should be true only then it is possible and i am taking one more example in which instead of and i will write or so now let's execute once again enter number one first number i am giving five and second number I am giving 7. So let's see result 1 is false. Why? Because 5 greater than 7 it is not possible so it is false. 5 less than 7 yes it is true so it is showing true. 5 greater than 7 and 5 less than 7 it is not possible so it is false. Because both should be true in the case of AND operator. OR means any one of them should be true. So 5 greater than 7 is false but 5 less than 7 is true so it is showing the result true. So this way we have seen how logical operators and relational operators are used in python so i hope through this video you would have understood all operations with the examples you would have enjoyed the video too much and i'm sure that you are going to share it with your friends so thank you so much for watching the video keep sharing keep learning python and in the next session of python we will talk about the comments of python and also we will discuss about the control structures. Thank you so much.